we're going to be watching and following is uh, Drew Auer from Penn State. What did you see from him in his first year starting last year, and what do you think that next step is for him in year two to be the guy that a lot of people are expecting him to be? So, I think he's the key. Uh, he comes with a lot of uh, fanfare. You know, the belief is that he's going to be the next guy. Uh, yards per attempt, in my mind, are down. And I don't know if that's because they didn't have great threats outside, but maybe they they were used to having. Uh, but he's got to be the guy that can keep the ball and and, and move the chains. Third down's got to be a deal. If you look at the Ohio State game and, and the Michigan game, and that's been the the, the story at Penn State. Unfortunately, right. you win ten ten games elsewhere. Everybody wants to talk about those two, right? And he has to take the next step to be competent in those games. If you look at the third down conversion rates in those two games, they're not very good. Mm. Uh, and whether it's mistakes that were made on downs one and two, putting him behind the eight ball to go into that, or not hitting the pass or not getting the team to the right play in those third downs so that you can keep the ball. And, uh, as Hank Stram said, matriculate the ball yep. down the field. Uh, those things are still, still to be determined. But for him to become that guy in college football, he's got to you know play better in those games. Now, do you see Penn State making the expanded playoff field, and why or why not? I, you know, I have a list in my mind of teams that you better do it now, right? Right, uh, and they're at the top of it. SC is probably number two. Miami's another one. Right? They've not been to the college football playoff in its ten-year existence. Mm. You better do it now that there are twelve seats at the table. What did you see? Lincoln Riley's been through ups and downs since first.